Hello, 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 hello. Today we are talking about these 10 essential grocery items. According to the Kroger ad that I received from one of our viewers, I think her name is Stephanie. She didn't put a she didn't put her name on there, but according to her email, I think that was her possible name. It was Steph Funny. I thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> Nice, Steph. Good job. <laughs> um, but <clears throat> look at this ad, guys. So she sent me this grocery ad, and I was totally shocked. Um, she <laughs> okay. I just I just was laughing because right here at the top, well, the counter's there, so you can't really see, but it says essential groceries, essential grocery. And the number one essential grocery, essential grocery at the top right there is sodas. Okay, dear. So if you're starving to death, you get an instant sugar infusion. <laughs> if you're, if you're, why, where am I? Okay. Um, if you say if that you're again. starving to death, you get an instant sugar infusion. <laughs> That's why it's an essential grocery item. <laughs> I just, when I saw this, she sent this to me a little while ago. And when I saw this, I was just like, are you kidding me? So we're going to go through these, these top grocery ads. And why is it showing on here? Why is it not showing? Oh, uh, wrong thing. Here we go. Sorry. Okay. So we're going to go through these essential grocery items right here. Number one is sodas, pop, whatever, cola, whatever you want to call it the fizzy drinks that are sugar water and basically you're just peeing out dollar bills. Oh, that's <laughs> fired. Um, the next, I will give you the cheese. I consider cheese a basic baking essential. So I will give you that. Number two is ice, which is a flavored water. Once again, we're just peeing out dollar bills. That's not an essential by any stretch of the imagination. The next thing is fancy Greek yogurt. Once again, okay, I'll give you yogurt, but my goodness, do you need to pay the expensive Greek yogurt? No, you don't. That's just ridiculous. And then, so that's number three. Number four is chicken tenders that are already pre-made. Now, that might, $7, I don't know how many ounces that is. I can't see how big it, so if it's two pounds, which it might be, I can't quite tell the ounces, but if it's two pounds, $3.50 for pre-made breaded chicken isn't awful, but is it an essential? No, it's not even close to being an essential. What was it Kirstie said about she had a name for those things that you buy because it's cheaper than going to a restaurant? Um, how, how did she call that? I, I forgot. Remember. It was great. It was great. It was really good how she did it, but <laughs> I can't remember. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Number five, ice cream. Okay. Now, Mike, is ice cream an essential? Sadly, no. What? I thought you would say yes. Actually, ice cream is amazing and wonderful, but it's not an essential. <laughs> I remember when I we were you would super yes. desperately poor. Well, we weren't really poor. We were just broke. Um, we didn't buy ice cream at all. No. So it's Only not, on your birthday. Yeah. And Father's Day. Your birthday and Father's Day is when you got ice cream. Yeah. Now, since then, we've, you know, gotten into yeah. a better financial situation. But even now, I can't eat it. So. Yeah. yeah. All right. The next one is, so that's one, two, three, four, five. The next... Next one is <laughs> donuts. Well, donuts are definitely an essential. <laughs> the next if you're one. you're drowning, somebody could just throw one into the water. <laughs> oh, so that's number six is donuts. Number seven is muffins, little mini muffins. Okay, muffins I can see as an essential, but not pre-made muffins. My goodness. It takes literally less than five minutes to make a thing of muffins. 
So buying them pre-made, pre-packaged isn't an assess isn't essential. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Number eight is <laughs> coffee creamer. Number nine, coffee. And number 10 isn't on here, but I'm going to get to it here in just a second after yeah, well, I tell we, you. The store calls those essential grocery items. Guys, our Black Friday sale is happening right now. Volume one and volume two of our Dining on a Dime cookbooks, up to 50% off our ebooks, 40% off our print books, our gluten free, dairy free edition, also, plus our price book. This is how you know if it's essential and if it's what price you want to pay. And then, guys, of course, our undated planners right here, 400 pages, 365 days. They are undated, so you don't lose any days. You can start as soon as you get your planner. But we are not going to be reprinting the planner. So if you really love our planner, which a lot of people do, you might want to grab them. All right. Down below, uh, the Black Friday sale. 50% off right now. You can get the links in the description below. Okay, number 10, we forgot to get a picture for. Do you want to do a drum roll? Can you do a drum roll? This goes along with the other one, but Keurig's coffee pods. Oh, I know a lot of people got hurt by that one. I saw that one on another ad for essential groceries, and I was just like, You've got to be kidding me. This whole Keurig thing has really disturbed me. It's really disturbed me. How, dear, dear I think the business needs to pay for counseling for me. <laughs> because you were you were damaged by the business from the revelation that came to you. <laughs> from the revelation that 90% of Americans use Keurigs. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, guys, all of these things, they're not essential groceries. And so what's funny is, okay, our price book right here, guys, 40% off for, for um, Black Friday. But what I did in here, I didn't list non-necessity items in here. Because I don't buy them. I don't buy donuts on a regular basis. I don't buy coffee creamer. I don't, well, I sort of do a little bit, but not, I, we don't consider it essential. We, we don't do consider which thing essential? Coffee creamer. We buy the coconut milk for your coffee, I guess. Yeah, I actually but, downgraded from a creamer because it was too pricey, just to regular coconut milk, because the coconut milk is like 20% of the cost of the creamer. Yeah. And, oh, thank you. Shannon's back. Hello, Shannon. Maybe I've just missed you because I haven't seen the comments very much, but thank you. Um, and so I have stuff in here like barbecue sauce, ketchup, jams, jellies, mayonnaise, mustard. But then I have olive oil, uh, baking powder, vegetable oil, apple, grapefruit, oranges, peaches, pears, pineapples. Nope, strawberries are not on there because I don't consider strawberries essential. And I'm shocked at how many people think strawberries are essential and blueberries are essential. They're nice, but they're not essential. Um, well, of course, the number <laughs> of course, look at what the number one thing is in here. <laughs> I'm such a hypocrite. <laughs> <laughs> On the baking supplies <laughs> or in the beverages? The baking supplies. <laughs> Chocolate chips. <laughs> See, she's admitting that they're essential. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's for mom. <laughs> but for the baking supplies, can you see? I don't think you can. Number one is chocolate chips. Oh, that's hilarious. I don't consider chocolate chips essential. But the reason why I put them in the price book was because a lot of people use chocolate chips for their baking. And so I want you to have the... Um, I want you to have the best price that you can for normal baking things, you know. Um, and so, yeah, yeah. Well, one thing I was going to say about this is, as we're talking about things not being essential, um, you know, it doesn't, it's okay to have something just because you want it sometimes. 
like you might say, well, like for instance, the coffee, I would still probably not do the, the pods, but I understand better than Tara that. Why okay. Wait, explain to me, honey, why do people like the Keurig so much? I, I just think people don't like to get a coffee filter out and stick it in there and get the spoon and scoop some out and put it in there and all that. And it's really not that much work, but I think that the, they just like getting, I, I think the people that do it the most like to just get the little pot and stick it in there and, and pour some water and hit start. And I, I would say, I don't think that's a choice that I would make, but some of the other items that Tara talks about and says, oh, you know, like, like the yogurt. Somebody was talking about spending a dollar on the yogurt because it's just for her. And I've done that in the past where I was thinking if I, if I buy that and not buy lunch, then it's still cheaper. But maybe just because you want to do it, if you can afford it. What I see, though, is a lot of people that they have a special treat and then another special treat and a special treat. And I'd like this a little bit more pretty much all day long, every day. And okay. that's where you're going to get poor. Hold on a second. Type one, if you buy Keurig pods, and type two, if you don't. I'm curious to see in my unofficial poll here. You should have a, you should have one for the, what if you have a refillable pod? Because a number of people are okay, saying Okay, type that. three, if you have a refillable Keurig pod. I'm curious. Because I'm just, even if you have a Keurig, I don't understand why people don't just buy the refillable things. Well, and do that. One lady, uh, you'll see it in the comments in a little bit, but she said that she doesn't like that you can't control the, the, how steep that is in the Keurig. You know, it runs for a certain amount of time and then it stops. But like with regular coffee, you can stop it for, or you can, you know. Oh, wow. The majority of people who are watching us don't have a Keurig <sighs> or use the reusable pods. Yay. Okay. Well, Good I don't you. feel like I'm just talking to air then. Okay. Well, maybe you are then because you're saying don't use. Maybe the that's why all the people. Already... Well, that maybe that's why all the people who are doing asking for the grocery audits because they are buying stuff like that. So that would make sense, I guess. Oh, <laughs> Laura says type four if you don't drink coffee. Well, that's kind <laughs> of what I was curious. Okay. That's her. <laughs> Me, I guess I just don't get it. Okay, so now come back here, guys, and let's look at this list again. Type in the comments and tell me which one of these things you guys buy that you think are essential all the time. So do you buy sodas all the time or any or all of them? Sodas, Be honest. little packaged Greek, expensive Greek yogurts instead of just buying the big tub of yogurt or making your own. I Listen, think... make your own. Dining on a dime. Volume one has how to make yogurt and it costs you about 50 cents. Dining on a dime, volume two has how to make Greek yogurt for about 50 cents. That's why I don't understand the whole yogurt thing. I used to make our yogurt. Well, you bought yogurt, didn't you? You used to buy the little yogurt things. So it's all well, just the convenience. Isn't I mean, it? I've heard some people say that they like the yogurt when they make it, but ours never had the smooth texture. Do you have to just blend it more if you want the smooth texture? Because when the ones you buy in the store, it's super smooth. It's, it's... Well, I didn't put gelatin in mine. Maybe that's... Oh, it's the gelatin in the store, store one. Is that what that's it is? That's why you liked it more, <laughs> Mr. Jello Man. <laughs> you can taste Jello a mile away. See, solidarity to all you $1 <laughs> yogurt buyers. <laughs> of course, okay. I can't. Unfortunately, I can't have it anymore, but it was sort of a thing that helped me not eat a lot of other things. So in my mind, I thought, oh. All right. So next ones. What do you think is essential? Pre-made chicken, chicken tenders, can you drop me? Um, ice cream, donuts, pre-made muffins, coffee, or creamer. Now I could, I will give you coffee. I'll give you coffee, but not the expensive. That looks like that's expensive coffee. Which one? Seattle's best. I don't know. Is Seattle's best and expensive coffee? I always thought it was, but I don't know for sure. But not even the expensive coffee. Now, I will tell you, after our big coffee discussion Wait, the other day. I think that that kind of a container is, I think that's, let me see that again. I think that's those little bottles. Well, it's the K, it's the Keurig cup and the. Oh, okay. It's, it's a cup. <gasps> oh my goodness. You can get 10. 
versus a 12 ounce bag. How much coffee do you use to make how much, how many ounces oh, man. does it take to make one cup of coffee? Well, okay, the instructions on the bags of coffee a lot of times say a certain amount and I, I use a lot less than that. Uh, how many ounces coffee does it take to make one cup of coffee? Uh, wait, how much coffee do you use? One to two tablespoons. I wonder how much one to two tablespoons is. One or two. How much does two ounces of coffee make? Eight cups. Each two ounce packet makes eight cups of coffee. So this, what's eight times 12? Oh, you do it. You threw it right on me. They can't see what you're talking about. <laughs> We're having about. a fly issue again. Because this is ridiculous. It's almost, it's December. So for this same 12 ounces, 12 times eight is what? Uh, 96. Times two? Uh, 192. So you can get 100. No, that can't possibly be right. Okay. For two ounces, you get, you get, you get eight cups of coffee. So, okay. So six, six times eight is what? 48. So you can get 48 servings out of the bag versus 10 of the Keurig for the same price. Hmm. Wow. That is absolutely crazy. That's absolutely crazy. Man, I'm going to do a video. Keurigs are making you poor. Well, actually, it's funny because I was talking to Tara today, and I was thinking about what I was just saying, kind of. Every now and then, there might be something where you say, oh, I really like it, so I'm going to go ahead and get it because you can afford it. But the thing is that the problem for most people is they have a lot of either treats or a lot of convenience. A lot of stuff in America is about convenience. And really, you know, if you if if you said, what would you think if you were to go hire yourself a butler and a maid? <laughs> You'd probably scoff at it. But for all the convenience items that people buy, uh, like and fast food and all that sort of thing, you're essentially paying someone else to do the work for you. So you might as well <laughs> have staff at your house. <laughs> I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. I, I just think that when you can't really afford it to have that many different conveniences is just um, making you poor. I yeah. mean, like one thing every now and then is fine. Send me the first set of comments. Um, okay, guys, if you have comments or questions, please go ahead and put them in. And Mike's going to start sending them to me. Heather says it says we've been live for six hours. Have we been live for six hours? We weren't running before. No, because we hit live. No, we haven't been live for six hours. I don't know why it says that. <laughs> Our uh, counter says 17 minutes, so that's weird. So um, I'll go ahead and send that to you. I was, but oh my goodness, when I when when she showed me that this uh, ad here and it said essential groceries, I was like, this is exactly what is wrong with everyone's grocery bill. Is they think these are essential, and they're not. So what are essentials? Rice, meat that's like not cooked or prepared, just regular meat. Now, I'm not saying you can't ever buy chicken tenders or chicken nuggets. I would much rather have you do that than eat out. Please buy that instead of eating out. Somebody sent me a video today and um, I didn't get to listen to it all because we were hooked up for the show and I was just watching, but um, she, she showed where it was $16 for one McDonald's meal. Are you kidding me? $16? That could be three days worth of food for a family of four um, if you were shopping the sales, right? And so, I don't know. I just I just think it's crazy. Now, I will say, I get people's frustrations. I went, was it Saturday, to Family Dollar. You should be ashamed of yourself, Family Dollar. Oh. I'm going to start. Actually, after my shopping this weekend... I'm going to start doing videos calling out these stores. And we've only got like four stores in our town. Well, I've noticed on the grocery cart, it's the same problem that people were having on their receipts that she's about to tell you about. Well, so first of all, 
I'm going to, as a matter of fact, in January, when our senator, senator, is that who it is, senator? Yeah. When our senator um, gets back from Washington, D.C., my butt is going to be in his office. I got to, I got to chat with you, dude. What's his name? Barrasso. Uh, but there's also <clears throat> our representative is. Um, Harriet, isn't it? Yeah. Harriet, I'm going to have a chat with what, you, too, because you're my well, kind you of a woman. With her, you got to go to Cheyenne. Well, I'll go to Cheyenne four <laughs> hours away to go have a chat with Harriet. And Harriet will love me because Harriet and I were like <laughs> she's a no BS person. Too. We're like this. <laughs> but I got my grocery receipt. Kimmy's on. Hello, Kimmy. And you cannot tell what price you're actually paying for the groceries. It should be illegal. The only way I knew that I actually got my groceries for the right price was I went through and I added everything up for what I knew the price should be. And it was a, within two or $3 of the amount that it was supposed to be. But what happened was it put on there, what? Chicken, $5.99 for three of them, okay? And then at the bottom, it says um, negative 250 for chicken discount. Well, the actual price is nowhere on the receipt. So then I go to Family Dollar because they had soda three for 11. I'm like, okay, that's a good stock up price now. It used to be four for 10, then it was three for 10, now it's three for 11. So I'm like, okay, I'll still get it now for Christmas, for when everybody's here for Christmas. And I go to the store and first of all, she's like, well, it's Dr. Pepper products only. I'm like, okay. So I go and get the Dr. Pepper and it says it had Sprite. I have no idea what Dr. Pepper products are. I thought Coke made Dr. Pepper. I don't know. I thought Coke made Sprite too. Sprite too. And so um, the sign right there. Oh, I didn't bring my phone out here. I still have the picture on my phone. And no. And right there under the Sprite, it says three for 11. So I get one Sprite and two Dr. Pepper and I take it up there and she said, oh, you can't combine the Sprite with the Dr. Pepper. I'm like, the sign says it right there. She said, and she said, uh, oh, well, so I took it up there. And so then I went back and then, the, and the other lady came and, and I said, the sign says it right here, three, four, 11. She said, oh, well, somebody put that sign in the wrong place and got really huffy at me. <laughs> I'm like, what are you jumping all over me for? You're the one that, or somebody in your store that put the sign up wrong. That's not my fault. So then by the time I got up there, it was this ridiculous rigmarole to just get my sodas on sale. And I was like, I can totally understand why people are getting so frustrated with buying things on sale. Yeah. <clears throat> well, what... what I noticed that I thought was kind of crazy with some of the grocery on it's because I never see this when I buy stuff because I don't shop at the two stores that are frustrating. <clears throat> but I noticed that it would say like nine ninety eight for something and then it would have something or other discount and something or other discount and something or other, like three different lines of discounts. And it would never tell you what the final price of that item was. And so you just had to kind of figure it out. Well, I think I really think that's designed to confuse you. It's kind of like Walgreens. They always had that thing where, you know, yo, you buy three of these and then two of these other things and match it with five other brands of things of certain numbers. And you're bound to miss one of them. And then all the deal is off. And I haven't shopped there for maybe but twice in the last five or six years, just because I, I refuse. <laughs> I think when they're making it so confusing, they're trying to get you to not get the deal. And I just think that's wrong. <laughs> so I'm not surprised why a lot of people are confused and maybe not getting the deals. <clears throat> Although I did point out to Tara that those mostly are on, they're not on the most basic foods. Like if you want to get beans or rice or meat or something, normally I, I haven't seen that with that funky discount pattern. I sent, I emailed you that. Did you not get it? Oh, thank you. Um, so, and then I'm going to have an etiquette 
the 12 days of etiquette at Walmart for the holidays video. Oh my word. It's like people have plum lost their minds. <sighs> okay. Um, I won't even go down that rabbit trail. Okay. Sorry. Aaron says, I ordered the gluten-free dairy-free cookbook 40% off right now, guys, in the description below as a gift on Friday. It has already arrived across the country. Wow. Thanks, USPS. And to you guys for getting them out so quickly. You are welcome. We try to ship during our black, during the first two weeks of Christmas, we try to ship the same day, Monday through Friday. We don't ship on the weekends, but Monday through Friday, uh, the day after it's ordered, within 24 hours, I guess I should say, of ordering. So I am so glad that it got there. Our well, books are 40% off, guys, right now in the description below. And I do have to shout out, you know, we've <clears throat> in the past, we've kind of said this or that about the post office when things weren't getting there I on time, but I am really yeah. amazed I think they're in the doing last better. several months how great the post and office is. And we haven't had done. so many damaged books, have we? No. Or have we? And I just didn't know it. Well, if if they're damaged, people aren't telling us that. <laughs> so I think that's great. I think the post office is finally getting it together. Nice job. <laughs> Donna Maybe said, it's because we have the best post office lady in the world. We do. Yes. Our post office lady is like the cream of the crop. I'm yep. going to cry when she retires. She cannot retire. <laughs> She'll have to move in. <laughs> <laughs> Donna, Tara, thank you for all you do. I was clueless before, but now I'm in the grocery store. I'll remember you saying, you don't deserve it. You can't afford it. And it and I look and wait for sales now. Good. That is great. Donna also says, and when Jill showed her portion sizes and what she eats, that really had a great impact on me. Good. That is and that's one of the big things. People don't realize how much food they're just stuffing down the gullet all the time. It's like, just stop eating so much food. Um, all right. Let's see. <clears throat> Jen says, hi, Tara Mike. Glad you're here to educate us more. I don't know if I'm educating or if I'm just flapping my job, but if it's educating, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Some people are learning. <laughs> Michelle says, they say to to prep caffeine pills to get instant energy during the fecal matter hitting the oscillation unit scenario. Yes. So I have to tell you something funny that happened today. Well, it wasn't funny, actually. Uh, our son got hit extremely hard with a volleyball today. To, and I, I'm pretty sure he's got a mild concussion at school. And um, But what was funny was about all the prepping was he said, well, mom, if the zombie apocalypse happens and all we have is sticks and stones to fight them off, I know who I'm getting to throw the stones. <laughs> the girl that threw it is very athletic. And <clears throat> yeah. So that was, amazing. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Uh, not him. Get, yeah. I think he, pretty sure he's going to be okay, but he really got hit pretty hard we had to bring them home so um vicky as much as i love soda it's not an essential item no it's not but here's the thing if your debts are paid off and all of that and you have one soda well if your debts are paid off and your retirement's funded you can buy what however much soda you want unless you have diabetes then you can't buy all the soda you want but if you're getting all that's paid off then um i'm okay with you buying and drinking as much as you want it doesn't matter to me it's just when people complain because they want to save on their grocery bill and then they're downing three, six, ten sodas a day, that's a problem. Anna Renfro, you're not a, have we asked her before if she's a, related to Anita? Uh, <laughs> just got her two books today. I'm assuming Dining on a Dime, Volume 1 or 2. We get the question all the time. What is the difference? These are two totally separate cookbooks. I just couldn't fit all the recipes from here into here. Easy recipes get you in and out of the kitchen with ingredients you already have on hand or basic ingredients you can buy at the grocery store for super cheap. And then this one is our gluten-free, dairy-free edition. It is 40% off right now. Also, our daily planners, guys, 40% or not 40, 20% off of our daily planners, undated, so you don't lose any days at all. And then our price book to help you always get the best price for 40%. Leticia, the only thing I would buy in the ad is the cheese. Yeah, me too. Suze, what a great segment this is. I always cringe at the Kroger ad. Well, here's what's funny. When we lived in, in Colorado, Kroger was actually the cheaper grocery store. They were. It they really were, was. They were. And it's funny because on some household items, they were cheaper than Walmart. Mm -hmm. 
which was surprising. I um uh, even regular groceries were cheaper than Walmart at Kroger in Colorado. Um, Chelsea's mom says dinner is going to be burgers, but wasn't feeling it. Switched to my stroganoff substituted hamburger meat for steak and elbow macaroni for egg noodles. Hey, that's fine. Yay. I'm so glad that it was delicious. That's in volume one, the red one, guys. If you want the stroganoff, also livingonadime.com. You can go get the recipe there at livingonadime.com. For which thing? Oh, the stroganoff. Okay. Yep. Uh, edifying says... Or Wanda says, I'm still having trouble standing to cook, so I like getting things like those chicken patties. And that's okay. I, everybody, not you, Wanda, but everybody has to be the exception to the <laughs> When I say these things, guys, I know that there are people who can't stand or who have a new baby or who have toddlers or whatever, you know, illness or they got that thing going around or something like that. I'm okay with that. What I'm just saying is it's really not an essential. It's something to get you through when you can't at the moment. And if all your debts and stuff are paid off, then it's fine. Edifying says the parts on chicken tenders, which is in volume two and on our website, livingonadime.com, are super easy and delicious. Yes, my boys, they love that one. I should make that one. I haven't made that for a while. They, they love them. Well, actually, I love them too. They are keto for those who keep asking me to make keto food. Yes, they are keto, actually. Susan, pretty tough. Thank you. I think I paid a dollar for it at the thrift store. Leticia, I don't have time to make yogurt and it's only for me. And that's fine. Olympia, I buy a little yogurt for 67 cents. Olympia wants to get the price book. Yep, it's on sale right now. 40% off. It's this little one here so that you can just put your um, grocery prices in there and then you'll know when you have a sale if it's a good deal or not. Elaine says, coffee is an essential. Without it, I can't be responsible for my own actions. <laughs> That's funny. Um, Lisa says, I agree with you about the curate pods. Yeah, they're expensive. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. Jill says, I get frozen strawberries and blueberries. Okay, guys, type one, if you buy frozen strawberries and blueberries all the time, and type two if you don't, because I'm curious how many people buy strawberries and blueberries out of season. I mean, I was shocked how many people do that. Now I do buy stra I do buy strawberry and blueberries occasionally, but really it's not a staple though. It's not a staple. It's a special treat for me. No, a lot of people, okay, a lot of people don't. Well, that's good. Okay, Vicky, I'm going to make crack with brown sugar, butter, and chocolate chips over crackers. Okay, I have never understood. Now I've never had it, I'll be honest but I have never understood why people ruin toffee with crackers. Just make the toffee. <laughs> I don't understand that. I don't understand that recipe, but I've been gluten-free since that recipe came out. But if you want just regular toffee, Dining on a Dime Cookbook, Volume 1. It's also, we have our Christmas candies post, livingonadime.com. You can get it there, but I have never understood that recipe. I just make the toffee and just eat regular toffee. Now, I know I'm gluten-free, but I mean... I've never understood why people ruin toffee with putting it over crackers. I guess it's maybe I've never the heard of that before. Maybe it's the <clears throat> sweet and salty thing, but just sprinkle some, just sprinkle some sea salt on top if that's the case. I don't know. Maybe I need to just try it and see. Diana, chocolate copes. I'm making cookies right now using your tip of using the mini, mini chocolate chips and using this. Very good. I used half a cup and everyone is happy. Yes, they don't even notice. Cindy, Aldi didn't have eggs today. Eggs are definitely essential. Yes, they are. Kimberly, my husband, uh, buy some yogurt and ice cream. He insists. <laughs> well, sometimes you just can't help it. Um, Debbie makes her own yogurt and she loves it. That's great. And Melissa says Seattle's best is not expensive. That's what we buy. Okay, so that's a cheaper one. Well, that's good then. But the Keurig one in there is not an essential. And I didn't realize when I saw the coffee, I didn't realize it was a Keurig cup. So I thought number 10 was Keurig. So I guess I only have technically have nine. Oh, no. Uh -huh. Well, no, because that was there's two different coffees. So I'm sure happened. you've talked about something else since the show started. <laughs> Elizabeth, my vice is Coke Zero, one per day. I only hit it. I only buy it when it's buy one, get one free stock up. But see, here's the thing. Buy one, get one free may not be the cheapest price. 
So we, they do buy one, get one free here all the time. And it's not cheaper than the 3411. 3411 is actually cheaper here. So she's 63, retired, house paid off, retirement income, great, very good. That is totally fine then. You just buy all you want. But for those of you wondering, buy one, get one free, usually. Actually, for the most part, buy one, get one free isn't a good deal at all. So. Well, the other thing I noticed is a lot of places have... Uh... Well, a lot of things say like family pack or value pack or something when it's a bigger pack. And I found that probably half the time it's cheaper to buy the smaller packs and more of them. <laughs> um, okay. Let's see. Oh, let's see. Chloe says, oh, here's Stephanie here. Okay. That was her. Thank <laughs> Yes. I thought it was Stephanie. That's funny. Um, Thank you for sending me the ad that I used today, Stephanie. I really appreciate it. I know you sent it to me a while ago. But, um, yeah, stuff like that just, you know, maybe we should just change it to a reaction channel. <gasps> Tara reacts. <laughs> what do you think? Do you think the world could handle that? I think there are a lot of fans who would like... Tara, con compared to the, uh, well, what they said about ranting the other day. <laughs> what did they say about ranting? How much the they other absolutely day? adore it. Oh, you guys like my ranting? Do you? Well, you I don't know if everybody really does, but there were a whole lot of comments. <laughs> um, Olympia, yes. Really good cake recipes. Dining on it on your basic white, yellow, and chocolate. And the same thing in a gluten free edition. If you guys are tired of eating gluten free food that tastes like sand, get these. Rest or use those recipes in my book. Um, okay, let's see. Teresa snowed here in Kansas. I saw that you guys had a ton of snow. And I was thinking, if it wasn't for the global warming, the global or the global cooling, the global warming would be taking over. <laughs> uh, Kansas hasn't had that much snow for a long time. Um, Kathy says she uses cashew milk for creamer. Yep, that's good. It's a great non-dairy alternative. Kimberly, I just have a little scoop, and that's about the size of a tablespoon. I'm assuming she means coffee. Maybe she lives in Hutch, and they got Hutchinson, Kansas. They got 9.5 inches. <coughs> wow. <coughs> that's a lot. Wow. I remember in the mid, well, sort of mid, like 83, 84, when we lived in Kansas. Oh, man, those were bad winters. I remember mom having to shovel out the Volkswagen or whatever car we had at the time, and it was bad. Sandra, toilet paper is essential, but it's not an essential grocery item. I think that was more of a joke. I mean, true. It's... it's... <laughs> Just <clears throat> uh, Julie says she switched, switched to a percolator. Ooh, that's great. Um... Michelle, is the gluten-free cookbook in PDF? Yes, it is. And yes, it's on sale. So you can get it. Thank you. Donna's liking my hair. So for all of you wondering, yes, I got my hair cut. Yes, I did not plan on it going this short. I really, really liked it long. Poor Mike was like, well, don't cut it off. Yeah, I had no anticipation of cutting it off this much. But if you guys notice in some of the older videos, I'm messing with my hair because I'm looking at myself and I'm like, what is wrong with my hair? Well, come to find out this side... From a haircut I got a year ago, this side was four inches shorter than this side. I was so mad. So I told her to just go ahead and even it all up, and I'm just going to start regrowing it again. We'll probably be dead before my hair gets grown out again, but do you love me anyway? I do. I love Am you. I still beautiful yes, in your you eyes? Are. are you sure? I tell you, and you don't even ask. You're not going to divorce me for cutting my hair? No. Okay. Thank you. I'm sorry. I feel bad. I have failed as a wife. <laughs> um, Diana, she has a refillable prod. Yep, there you go. Um, all right, let's see. Retired psych nurse says I use a French press. Oh, yeah, that's what we use. Christine says yogurt for my hubby. He does so much for me as I'm in a walker, so I cannot deny him this. Yes, and that's fine. I mean, but I'm just saying a lot of people think these things are 
needs and want. And actually in the grocery audit <laughs> on Saturday, Friday or Saturday, I don't know which day it's coming out Friday, I guess on the grocery audit that's coming out Friday, we're going to be talking about this. So yeah. Um, Diane or Danielle says, I used to buy the pods, but our videos have inspired her to get the reusable pod. Good job. And Tiny Face says she has an addiction to yogurt. Carissa, cheese and Coke. That's funny. Cynthia Tar, I already bought the I already bought a already cooked chicken last Friday. It was for Father Together. Is it still good to freeze? Uh yeah, fry if it's Friday, it's still good to freeze now. I wouldn't go more than tomorrow morning. I wouldn't go longer than that. Donna, I have never bought soda before until tonight. Salvation Army Bell Ringer, if, if I could buy him a beverage. I asked the Salvation Army Bell Ringer if I could buy him a beverage. He said about do. Very good. That was nice. Um, Wanda, not essentials, but donut ice cream were delicious. I know. Oh, and the kind of donuts they have in there. That was, wasn't that the Animans or, or what? Let's see. Which one was that? Yes, those, oh, those are the best ones and they're cheese Danish. Okay, now those two things, I really miss being gluten-free. I have to say they are pretty darn tootin' good, but. Okay, Nancy says, I keep things like chicken nuggets for the days I cannot cook. Yes, I totally understand. Deb, I only buy soda when it's on sale. Good job. Christina, I am cutting down on the diet soda. Good job. Amazing Grace. Three Inch says those chocolate Inamins donuts are so good. Yes, they are, aren't they? But mm -hmm. she can't have them either because we're both gluten-free. Yeah. Uh, Edifying says my great uncle was in World War II when a month without coffee because of supply line the issues, he would get livid when people said they can't live without coffee. Yeah, that kind of puts things in perspective, doesn't it? I know. I mean, I, I think it's nice to have coffee every morning. But I, you could live without it. It, it certainly makes it nicer when you're doing something you really don't want to do to have a little coffee beforehand. <laughs> but that's more of a luxury than a need. <laughs> Although, you know, if you can afford it, most people can afford it. So if you can afford it, go for it. Yeah. Walt Rose says she got her cookbook in the mail. Yay, guys! They're forty percent off right now. With our Black Friday sale, 40% um, off in the description below. All of our print books, 50% off of our ebooks. Also, our planners right here, 20% off our planners. Undated, 400 pages, 365 days. And actually, it's funny because on the ebooks, a number of people have asked about the ebooks because I think they couldn't find them. But in the store, when you just when you go there on the left side, the main things are print books on the front. But right on the left side, it's got ebooks and planners, and they're all sorted out to make it yeah. easy for you. Yeah, Tara, and all the ebooks, every ebook we have is fifty percent off. Yep. So. Tiny face says, "Tar, how do you simply bake chicken quarters? Oven temp, how long?" So I just throw it in the oven, three hundred fifty to four hundred degrees, depending on how quick you need it, between anywhere from 40 minutes to an hour. When it's golden brown, it's done. The retired psych nurse, I'm eating turkey I made today from Easy Turkey Recipe from our volume one and our website, Living on a Dime. Everyone has been raving about our turkey recipe. Thank you so much for all of you guys who've told us how much you love it. Ingrid, how was your turkey this year? Did you burn it? Just kidding. <laughs> I didn't have turkey this year. <laughs> well, we had it before. We had Perkins. So what did I have at Perkins? I can't even remember what I ordered. What did I it order? It was impressive. I don't remember what I ordered. I don't know. We went to Perkins to eat this year. <laughs> so, cause we had thanks. Cause I did a video for our other YouTube channel called super easy recipes. And, um, we did Thanksgiving dinner for that. So I, um, didn't make another Thanksgiving dinner. Roxanne. We basically ate Thanksgiving dinner three weeks ahead of time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Roxanne, my new Christmas tradition since last year, watching, get to the story, say pee, and get the razors after Christmas Day. Yay! That's great. Yeah. Get all you can, that's for sure. Um, Kimmy, she's in her apron. Oh, yes, I did get my hair cut, so it made it 
So I did not get another perm, but it did make it poofier because of that. Actually, I really like the style of the cut. So we didn't have time tonight for me to style it because I was putting up Christmas decorations all day long. And I had like, I got ready like 30 minutes right before the show. But um, I really like the way she layered it. So I think once I get it grown out in three or four months, at least part of it, it's going to really help. Yeah, Tara was saying that it was unbalanced before so yeah i i did not realize it i mean i knew that it was off but four inches oh my goodness no wonder i was having such a hard time i was having a really hard time styling it i um so i appreciate you guys saying it looks so good but i was really having a hard time styling and you can still see like uh well maybe i don't know can you see yeah no wait where's where is it yeah here so can you see right here, this is the end. See how much difference there is? I'm like, seriously. So anyway, yeah. Uh, let's see. Letitia says she likes my essential list better. Thank you. Prairie Patriot says the grocery store marketing is trying to sell us these essentials. I know it's ridiculous. Can you see the next one? Elizabeth says, Tara, we experiment on the convenience could we experiment on the convenience question? I'm thinking by the time I handle all that trash, recycle, et cetera, it might be way more convenient to bake a potato and a hamburger patty. Yeah. Yeah. Kathy would like to see a day of Jill's meals and snacks. So we already did a video of that with all of everything that moms eats. Um, Remember what it is. I think it was called what Jill eats in a day. Maybe. If you I go to our remember. videos on YouTube and then scroll back was probably it was at the, it's like September or something, mm -hmm. wasn't it? Yeah. Guys, if you're loving this video, could you give us a thumbs up? It really helps the algorithm know that we are doing something um, good to help other people. Um, okay. Mike's sending me the next questions, post questions and comments, guys. If you have them, Janie did your turkey recipe three times and we love it. There is no better way. Thank you. I am so glad you liked it. Nancy, if anyone wants to make extra dollars, these cookbooks have great and easy recipes and mixes. Yes, actually, we have gift mixes here. So either to save on Christmas presents, you can use the gift mixes. You can use the kids' recipes for Play-Dohs and bubbles and stuff like that. You can use the bath and beauty and the cleaning products all in here if you want to um, save some money. But the gift mixes you could sell at um, craft, craft stores and st or at craft shows and stuff. Um, she says someone in our area is selling a dozen uncooked homemade buttermilk biscuits for $20, cakes and pies, $20 to $5. Yeah. Our, our son had a, um, had a, uh, his school, um, his school had a, a bake sale and they sold out out of almost everything. He sold out of your stuff really yeah. fast. I came home and ended up making eight more boxes of brownies because she made the boxes yeah. of brownies. Yeah. And they were ultra popular. Yeah. It was, were crazy. they after some holiday brownies? No, it was just for Thanksgiving. They were selling them, but yeah. Um, okay. You got me the next ones here. Oh, there it comes. Um, Donna, Joanne fabrics receipts are impossible to cipher. I know. Karen Hegman and I are going to have a chat. <laughs> when do they go back in session? How long are they here? Do we know? January to what? She'll probably be here for Christmas. Hanging out with the fam in Wyoming. Yeah, but I don't want to go four hours each way to Cheyenne. To... Well, maybe you could stop on your way down when you go. And you could have a chat for me. Hmm. Might have to see her again. Not as powerful as I. Have you met her before? <laughs> no, but I've met like... I was just oh. thinking when I used to know all the legislators in Kansas. Yeah. Um, oh, Olympia is liking my nail polish. Thank you. So we had a comment about my nails. Very pretty nails with dollar signs, I think, implying that you're saying you're frugal, Tara, and then you have these fancy nails. Yeah, and guess what? These are acrylics that I did myself at home, and this is polish that I mixed myself at home with Two other polishes that I didn't like cost me about a dollar for acrylics that I've had on for two weeks. 
So wow. they're doing pretty good. I got to take them off now because I broke one. You can't tell, but I broke one. So I got to get them off now, but still not bad for two weeks. No. Considering most, most women spend $200 a month and I spent $2 for the month's worth of acrylics. That's pretty good. Here, go ahead. Thank you. <laughs> so I can pay for the new Christmas tree. Okay. Oh my goodness. Uh oh. While Mike's getting the next comments uh -oh. or getting comments, I got to give him my Christmas tree rant. Uh oh. Oh, your Christmas tree rant. If you guys find a Christmas tree sailing through the sky, it's my Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, I about had it. <laughs> so we have this Christmas tree that I got for $10 on clearance at Walmart like 10 years ago. It was pre-lit. The lights have never worked on it. That's fine. It was a really pretty shape. Well, last year I got the brilliant idea to flock it because I wanted a flocked Christmas tree. Did not work at all. So now we got this white powder stuff all over the place. But we went in and used it this last year. So we got it this year out. And I forgot the lights got all tangled. I got flocking, poofing everywhere. The lights are tangled. I can't, I spent a half an hour just unwinding two strands of lights, trying to get them off. I was like, forget it. I'm going and buying a new Christmas tree. So I look and look, $49. Oh, I can handle $49 for a new Christmas tree. But I get to Home Depot. <coughs> it looks like a Charlie Brown Christmas tree. <laughs> so then to get a Christmas tree that actually looks nice is $200 for a fake tree. Wow. So tomorrow I'm going to hit all the thrift stores. I texted Brad at the ReStore. We love Brad. He takes care of us. We appreciate Brad. So I texted Brad and I said, do you guys got any Christmas trees? He's like, yep, and they're cheap. I'm like, okay, I'm going to be down there tomorrow at 9 o'clock. See if I can find... Because I'm not going to pay $200 for a Christmas tree if it doesn't work. So what do you guys think of this idea? Type one if you think this is a good idea. Type two if you think it's a bad idea. Putting the Christmas tree in the shower and washing off all the flocking. What do you think? I'm thinking this sounds like a honeydew project for Mike to clean out the drains. <laughs> <laughs> these are the kinds of things that turn into way bigger disasters. I was thinking that those three pieces of it are sitting inside of a little donut thing that has an opening and that the whole thing is going to get all full of water and it's going to be hard to get that out. It's going to rust in there. Not one person says it's a good idea. I think it's a brilliant idea. No, 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 no. No, I, seriously. <laughs> just <laughs> if you're going to do anything, and I still wouldn't recommend this either, but take the compressor out there and blow it off with the air well, no, that's not a bad idea. That's actually not a bad idea. I still think it might end up being greater, a greater challenge than you think. Huh. Okay, back to comments. Uh, Suze, my price pick will only allow me to buy the cheese. Her price pick will only allow her to buy cheese $3 or less a pound. Very good. Yogurt cups under 80 cents and soda, two liters for 99 cents. Very good. Those are all my prices too. Good job. Wanda, if you don't get the correct amount of items or the correct items, you get charged the full price. Yeah, I know. It makes me so mad when they do that. Um, Water bucket says 12 days of etiquette at Walmart. Would be fun to watch. Oh, my goodness. I'm not going to even go down that trail. That might be a whole other video. <laughs> Christy, a major turkey out of volume one. Huge compliments. Thank you. It's this one right here, guys. Everyone's loving the turkey. That's mom's recipe. I never cook and I looked professional at the church Thanksgiving dinner. Very good. You know, when we would go to dinners and stuff like that, I volunteered to bring the turkey because I didn't want to eat somebody's dried out turkey. <laughs> <laughs> Is that awful? No. Christina, uh, she ordered books volume one and two, the red and blue one. For my youngest child, 26 years old, she looked through mine and likes uh, my style. She's a poor teacher in Oklahoma, and I knew she would benefit it. That's great. Uh, Bully Porter, maybe go to Walmart once a month. I really don't like shopping there. Yeah, I don't either, but we don't really have a choice here because we've got Walmart, a small town grocery store, and then Albertsons, and that's it. Elaine, Walmart needs to get rid of electric scooters. People are scary. Oh, man, alive. Don't get me started on those either. 
Kathy, I'm excited the books came today. That is great. They are a gift for my hubby and the kids for her birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday, Kathy. Yay, happy happy birthday. birthday. Mike's birthday's in two weeks yep. from tomorrow. Two weeks. Yep. How, how does it feel to be getting old? <laughs> I'm not getting old. <laughs> I'm feeling old. Actually, I'm surprised I haven't felt old yet. Are you young at heart? I must be young at heart. That's what it is. <laughs> Stephanie uses French toast for our dinner tonight. That is great. Super yummy. I haven't made French toast for a long time. I should make some. Monica, how long is cookbook sale going on? I have no idea. <laughs> when does the sale end? Did we decide? Yep. A uh, week from Wednesday. Wednesday the 6th. All so, right. You got time, Monica. Although, but yeah, but don't forget. <laughs> yeah. We get a lot of we only, they're only 40% off for the print books. They're only 40% off twice a year. So get it now or you're going to have to wait till Mother's Day. Caroline says, and you will save so much money between now and Mother's Day. You'll kick yourself for not getting it sooner if you wait till Mother's Day. Uh, Kelly, I do online orders with no substitutions. Yes. Um, it doesn't keep me on budget, but it's so much more convenient. Oh my goodness. Carol Ann went to look Walmart yesterday and was shocked at the shortages and high prices. Wow. Ours isn't having, ours isn't having too many shortages yet. Wanda, Timu has wooden gnome Christmas ornaments. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, I got my, I got four... Wait, three of the four trees put up today and yesterday. So we have four Christmas trees. Eva, I buy, and one of them, the whole point of that was, one of them is my gnome tree. I couldn't read this. I love my gnome tree. It's so <laughs> cute. Vicky says, I don't buy fruit too often unless it's on sale. Very good. Eva says, I buy frozen berries out of season and they have on sale. Very good. Yep. Uh, the next one. Um, Carol Ann says she buys free... Seasonally, yes, spice seasonally. Tina took my leftover mashed potatoes, 3B casserole, gravy, stuffing, cream, it's potato soup, and turkey soup. Very good. Yum. She made all of those into a cream of potato and turkey soup. That would be really good. And if I says frozen blueberries are a safe food for my autistic son. Well, yeah, that's totally fine. I get that. Letitia, Navajo tacos in volume one are so good. Yes. Yum. They are. I haven't made those either for a while. I guess I should those make those. Those are awesome. The um, AOCWDA says, Mike is correct. The Winco, they had two packs of cream cheese and they were more buying two than, yes, I know. Yeah. Chloe says we should make a weekly video on essential grocery ads. Oh, I know. Yeah. Lisa says she would love the reaction. Vicky says she loves my rant. And Carissa says Tara reacts. I don't know <laughs> if my blood pressure can handle me reacting. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I don't have blood pressure now, but I might if I did that. Gulf Coast says I just got cut my grocery budget from $300 to $175 biweekly. Very good. Guys. If you want to cut your grocery bill, get our cookbooks. I'm telling you, the first trip to the grocery store, you will save. Buy store brands, skip the snacks, and buy cheaper cuts of meat. Yes. She's in her apron. Has anyone seen canned shrimp at, on the shelves? I have never even heard of canned shrimp. Me? Either. I didn't even know they made such a thing. Now I'm going to have to look next time I go to the store. That's interesting. Elaine, we're here for the rants and the money sacrifice. <laughs> Trish says, 52 and zero debt because I listen to my elders. Pantry full and don't buy unless sales are good. Very good. Heather in the Mounts. I would love that. However, it seems like YouTube is beginning to play with compensation of reaction channels. It may have to be demonetized while others are trying to find it. Yeah. Well, I was thinking more reaction like grocery ads and stuff like that. Yeah. Those, those the problem is they're, they're running people's videos and mm -hmm. they're getting challenges for copyright. Yeah. Elizabeth, I'm on my third week of cracking the code on digital coupons, deciphering how the deals work. Very good. <coughs> Solution to the Christmas tree, send Mike into the woods with an axe. It says. <laughs> we have had one live Christmas tree in our life. The first year we were married. How did that go, dear? Well, it was an interesting learning about getting married thing. <laughs> 
it was actually not too bad getting it in the Geo Metro. <laughs> it was trying to get it to stand up at the house when the dog was attacking it. We finally had to wire it to the heater vent on the wall above. Uh, Brooke says she loves our new channel, Super Easy Recipes. Thank you. It is great to see me back in the kitchen. Thank you. We are really focusing on getting Super Easy Recipes, and it is taking off. Guys, thank you so much for your support. Listen, when you guys watch our videos, if you give us a thumbs up, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. That tells the algorithm you guys like it, so the thumbs up, the likes, all of those really help. Uh, Mom is doing great. Thank you guys for asking. Denise, uh, she grows her own, I assume, fruit and freezes it. Yes, I wish um, I wish I could grow my own fruit. What that kind of fruit great. would grow here? Anything? Well, I do have strawberries, which the deer ever so kindly decided to prune for me right before the season ended. You just want to make them poop out again <laughs> next year in a bigger way. Which, thankfully, it was the end of the season. Oh, you were asking what I want for Christmas. Is it wrong to ask for fence posts for a Christmas present? <laughs> well, I gave you a drill that one year. Actually, I really would like some fence posts for a Christmas present. That might be a good fence present. posts for the garden fence. Yes. Well, to build a fence that's more stable. I told you I would do that without you having to use your Christmas present. Well, oh, thanks. although she's reached her limit on gnomes. Well, I haven't reached my limit, but. Actually, as I was doing them today, I realized maybe I do need some because my stash is getting a little. Uh, well, the, some of them are breaking now, so because they're getting old. Peggy loves the two ingredient fudge right here, guys. Volume two is the recipe, also livingonadime.com and super easy recipes. We have all the fudge videos in there. Kimberly, you could always do a series of reaction, but it doesn't have to be all or nothing. Yes, it's true. Denise, I keep both your cookbooks all the time, but I refer to them constantly. Thank you so much. She can't thank us enough. I appreciate that. Teresa, she got her turkeys for 79 cents a pound, and it was buy one, get one free. Oh, so listen to this. I'm going to do a video on this, maybe. So the turkeys, we had reports of 29 cents a pound up to 69, 79 cents a pound for turkeys all over the country. People were reporting their turkey prices. And guess what? Everyone who says grocery prices are just ridiculous. Now, I'm not saying grocery prices haven't gone up. They have. But to say they're just ridiculous and not affordable is not true. Now, I know that Yahoo in who's playing president has caused our economy to totally tank. I get that. But to say you can't get groceries at a reasonable price is just not true. So listen to this. I was reading a cookbook from 1918. Oh, yes. That was a very interesting story. And it said, if you buy your turkey at 40 cents a pound, that will be $4 for a 10-pound turkey. Now, the fact that they had to put that in writing back in 1918 even tells me people have not changed. But, <laughs> but 40 cents a pound for turkey over 100 years ago, that's crazy expensive. And it was saying how cheap it was to buy turkey back then. I was like, hmm. All right. Heather, I got my boneless skinless chicken breast for 99 cents a pound yesterday. Can you see the next ones? That's great. And in California, Kelly loves my health color. Thank you. It is my natural color. Wow. Peggy says we're hilarious. What did we say? I don't know what we said. It was the smoochy smoochy thing. Oh. Yep. Um, Vicki, not a food question, but when was our first show aired? So if you go to the videos and you click on oldest, you'll see our show first show was aired uh, 15 years ago. Wait, 15 years ago? Yeah. Oh, I think oh, I thought she was meaning the live show. Well, our first video ever was 15 years ago. Our first wow. live show was literally the month they came out with lives. We started our live shows. Was it 2016 or 15? Yeah, for 2016, I think. I can't remember. Um, what did you do for gluten-free Thanksgiving? Kelly wants to know. So for gluten-free Thanksgiving, um, of course the turkey is gluten-free. I use, um, chicken stock and mashed potatoes for dairy-free because I have to be dairy-free also. And then, um, 
I make the gluten-free dinner rolls, which if you go to my gluten-free YouTube channel, you'll find the dinner rolls. I just did a video on the gluten-free dinner rolls in here. Super delicious, super delicious. Um, Mike, can you put that link in her there for Sorry, her? Which one? Uh, the gluten, the gluten-free channel. Um, and then I make a gluten-free pie crust with apple pie, pumpkin pie. And I use coconut milk to make it dairy free for the pumpkin. And then we have broccoli salad, jello. So that's green bean casserole, um, without the cream of mushroom soup soup. I didn't use that, but yeah, that's so when I've made gluten free, uh, that's the way I did it. So, um, oh my goodness. Tiny Face says her brother paid $100 for his turkey in the Hamptons. The organic one was $173. No joke. He texted me a photo. What's even more stupid is he actually paid for that much for it. Well, oh, he did pay $100 for his. Wow. <laughs> actually, so I have to say it because it's got a lot of attention. <laughs> So the thing that somebody said about scooters earlier, they were talking about the mobility scooters. A lot of people are saying, no, I need those. <laughs> but the comment that somebody made earlier was about, you know, getting run over by them in the store or by people that are driving them crazy. So <laughs> I don't think there's any probability. That I don't have a problem with take... people using scooters, but yeah, be nice. I don't think they're going to take them out of the store for people that need them. I think that, that the person who commented earlier was just I saying... have little ladies that have literally tried to run me over. Oh, really? Okay. I'm like, seriously. <sighs> yeah. But my goodness. Oh, brother, 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 brother. <laughs> so I have no problem if you need to use... I've used it before when I was on bed rest with my pregnancies. So I totally get that, but oh my goodness. Well, I guess that was a wheelchair. It wasn't a scooter. It was a wheelchair, but still. Was it a, I don't even remember that. <sighs> yeah. Are you making progress on your mortgage payoff? So, um, yes. Wait, are you not looking at the comments they sent? Oh, did you send me more? Yeah. I was waiting. Oh, here. Oh! <laughs> oh, my email just came in at once. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Uh, 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 we're not... We're not paying extra on it right now. We were um, we paid a massive amount off, and then I, yes, I, well, we paid a huge chunk. Yeah, well, we paid a huge chunk. We paid more than half of it off. Yeah. But I, when we got into the kitchen project, and it was a lot more expensive, and we started having trouble with the business and stuff, I decided, you know what, I'm going to wait until everything is really stable and then pay it off again. And we probably could start again now, but I'm gonna wait a little bit longer. So we're waiting for our reserves to get built back up again. And then we're gonna start dumping huge chunks again. But uh, unfortunately we do need to be getting a vehicle. Does anyone have a Toyota Tacoma or Tundra you're selling? Please let me know. With <laughs> 150 to 170 miles, 7,000 miles, let me know. Um, that's what we're looking for, but... Um, so yeah, uh, okay, here we go. Uh, Jill, your mom hardly eats anything. No, she does she she eats enough for what her body uses. She's a the proper weight she's supposed to be. Her metabolism is slower because she's older, so that she uses the she eats the proper amount of food. Most Americans eat way more food than they need to way more food. That's why so many people are fat and have diabetes. So, you know, it is. Janie, uh, the turkey was so juicy and it was so juicy. It was such a juicy, moist turkey and so easy. Yes. It's like two minutes to fix the turkey. It's so easy. Nancy uh, says she agrees about prices. There are a lot of selling cookies, cakes, pies in the area. Yep. For the bake sales. I know it's crazy. Judas says, hello, hope we had a great Thanksgiving. Yes, we all did. Thank you, Nancy. If anyone wants to make extra, oh, got that one. And Colleen, she hosted Thanksgiving and her parents bought soda, coffee, foil, TP. I was thankful for the blessings. That was very nice. Very good. She, her dad loved the marshmallow crispy brownies from volume two. Yay, I'm so glad. 
Crazy Chicken says, I hate the must buy five things to get a good deal. Yes, we hate that too. And everybody loved your rant, honey. <laughs> okay, honey, tell them to go paint if they don't like it. <laughs> it just doesn't come across the same when it's not natural. Yes, but... If you don't like it, go paint something. <laughs> oh, honey. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, if you want to know what that's about, go back and watch last week's show. <laughs> and if I says, was it Wednesday? Last Wednesday? Yeah. Yeah. And if I says our rule is that our kids' Christmas gifts for each other have to be homemade. Well, there you go. And a lot of them are from our cookbooks, our Dining on a Dime cookbooks. There you go. Finding Way says the Play-Doh recipe would be cute paired with buttons and sticks and a little piece of ribbon for a scarf for snowmen. That would be a great first snowman kit. That's a great idea. Uh, gray Hat, you should do more grocery audit. You should audit more ads around the country. Yeah, maybe that's what I need to do. Guys, send me your crazy grocery ads and then I'll audit them. A lot of people just liked how it started today. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, brother. Autumn says I'm new here so watching to learn yay that is great is there a facebook page to be able to look so we have a facebook page but it's um just type in living on a dime and that's us elizabeth can you do a whole chicken upside down the way you do the turkey yes that's how i do my chicken uh denise says never had a manicure or pedicure never will um kimmy says i've seen jill and she can down a burger yes she can <laughs> uh, we all together with in uh colorado oh okay <laughs> nice denise says i've never had a manicure or pedicure never will i've had one manicure in my life and it literally didn't even last an hour before it chipped so i was like forget it and i didn't pay for it thankfully um lisa says hose the tree down in the yard i can't my my hoses are frozen <laughs> I mentioned that to her earlier and yeah, she it's like 15 degrees outside right now and everything is frozen solid. So yeah, Pam, I'd be worried with my luck. I'd be electrocuted. Well, the, the lights on the tree don't work, so I don't plug them in. So that wouldn't hurt anything. Diana, if a shower will fix your tree, could you use a hose outside? No, cause yeah, my, my hoses are frozen. So um kelly's birthday is a week from friday Ooh, she's turning 60 happy birthday hey yeah happy birthday see you share a birthday with somebody and sherry too oh all of you guys have birthdays just in a couple of weeks <laughs> i'm glad you were born are you yay well, thank most you. days ah <laughs> <laughs> uh, this, you were having, you were questioning it when you saw the house and the way the house looked this afternoon, weren't you? No, because I've seen the way <laughs> I've when seen you, the way it looks when you're done. When you saw everything exploded all over and all the plants exploded all over, and yeah. Uh, all right. Um, Colleen's. Oh no, and you got like a ton of trees last year. I did, but I didn't put them all up. So where did you get a so, ton of trees? I don't at recall the that. thrift store. They had free day. Oh, with like Remember? a tight one Tuesday. Yeah, they had free day, and I just, I don't know. I got seven or eight trees. <laughs> <laughs> so Amazing Grace says we have Christmas decor giveaway at a recycle center. Ooh, that's great. They usually have fifteen trees for free. Ooh, man, that would be great. And if I says we're using Christmas tree that my grandparents got ninety percent off in nineteen ninety three. Wow, what is the flocking made of? I don't know, but it's water soluble. So, I mean, I don't know. What? Oops, I didn't. How did that happen? What is flocking made of? Let's see. It is made of microfilament flyers. Fibers, nylon, raylon. Okay, never mind. That flock. Okay, if it was flocking it with fake snow. Um. So let's see. What's canned fake snow made of? Sodium polysyrate. See, it's sodium, so it'll just dissolve. What? Known as hydrogel. Oh, it absorbs eight hundred times its own weight in water. Oh, maybe that's not a good idea. <laughs> oh, dear. That could be bad. Okay, I guess you guys are right. 
Wow. Okay. You're right. I won't do that. I just know that if there's some kind of peculiar idea that you've never heard of anyone doing it before and Tara says, what if we do that? I know that's a sign. <laughs> it's going to end in disaster. <laughs> and it usually means Mike's going to be taking the pipes apart. <laughs> Hey, I just tell it like it is. <laughs> Jan says, I'm still using my five-foot Christmas tree. I bought on sale $10 at Walmart over 25 years ago. Good job. Rita says, you better get to praying about the tree shower. All right, I won't shower my tree. <sighs> <sighs> my books came in for my girl's Christmas. Yay! She got them for her girls. Very good. I left them in a box after exam. My daughter saw Columbia box and wondered what I bought them <laughs> from Columbia. Can't hide anything. See? So you got the Columbia box. That was um, Jack's new hiking boots. So <laughs> <laughs> we recycle here. We recycle. Yeah, actually, it's funny. When you, when you said the Columbia box, I was thinking, I actually remember that very specific box. I was like, what are people going to think when they get their order in a shoe box? Use it in the next one. Juanita, second year making turkey for the church using our recipe. So delicious. Guys, 40% off right now our cookbooks. Easy recipes. The turkey recipe is literally a two-minute recipe. She cooks two at the same time. Very good. Then just take it off the bone. As a matter of fact, Dave got a free smoked turkey from work. I was like, oh, and it tasted really good, but I was about to put it back in the oven and recook it so it would be tender because that thing was a pain in the butt to get off of the bones. Yeah. I see why people hate dealing with turkeys now. <laughs> it was a really good smoked turkey. Don't get me wrong, but I had to chisel that meat off the bones. It was awful. Well, it was good, but honestly, I'd rather the turkey the way that you usually make it. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. I don't know. The smoke thing just didn't do anything for me on turkey. <laughs> <laughs> um, Laura says blueberries are very hardy and I think would grow temperature wise, but they want very acidic oil. Yes. I actually planted two blueberry bushes last year. And thanks to the deer pruning them twice, I have two little sticks left. So hopefully it'll come back. But how I plant my blueberries is I dig a hole and I put just straight peat moss in there. And then I just plant them straight in the peat moss and then put about this much soil, regular soil on top. And when I was in Colorado, it worked really good. Chelsea's mom says a few years ago, my hubby bought me a cordless reciprocating saw for Valentine's day. Now that's a husband that listens. There you go. What's funny is that Oh, it was like near, it was close to the beginning of our marriage. Tara asked for a drill. And Good. I remember standing there in I line still have that Black drill. Friday to get the drill. And somebody's like, what are you getting that for? Like, uh, my wife asked for it for Christmas. So they're like, yeah, right, whatever. <laughs> That's what I wanted. Yeah. yeah. All right. Next, Michelle says, my mom would love homemade fruit basket for Christmas. Oh, yeah, that's a great idea. Yep. We have a whole gift baskets ideas at livingonadime.com. And so we have a whole thing. So for those of you who don't know, I used to be a florist. So I used to make fancy gift baskets. And so we have a whole thing. Also, Dining on a Dime Volume 1 has a whole bunch of gift basket ideas. 40% uh, off in the description below, guys, at livingonadime.com. You can get all the recipes and get the ideas. Also, we did a video on how to make gift baskets about four or five years ago. So you can check that out. Wanda, did you ever do a video on the three-legged turkey the lady found in Canada, in Canada got? No, I never did. I just showed it, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Angel, is there any way of shipping in Canada? I'm very sorry. We can only ship in the U.S., uh, you can thank your governments, uh, all of our international people. The customs and the taxes have just gotten to the point where we were literally losing money dealing with customs and taxes uh, in other countries. So we just had to stop. I'm very sorry. You can get the ebooks though. It's funny though. We we tried to send one to a friend uh, through an alternative method the other day that's cheaper than the post office. It was $62 for shipping. 
and she was going to have to pay $20 in duties on her end. So we're like, yeah, maybe not. <laughs> and that was uh, not, not an order, but we were just going to send it. But even then, we'll just have to wait till we actually go to Canada. <laughs> then they'll yeah. say, why are you bringing 14 boxes? <laughs> That's what we need to do. So here's what we'll do. We'll have to pay we'll make a the trip border. to Canada and we'll just ship them all when we get to Canada. You don't think the the border patrol will have a problem with us bringing in that many books? Yeah, and not only that, they'll know exactly who we are and why we're coming. <laughs> Melissa says it's salad shrimp, a salad topping. I have never heard of such a thing. That's very interesting. I'm going to have to call Kimmy and talk to her and ask her what this is because I love shrimp. So that's different. I've never heard of shrimp salad topping. Um, finding a way she used my gluten-free crust. Thank you very much to make gluten-free, dairy-free pumpkin pie. Isn't that delicious? Oh man, I made the mistake of eating regular pumpkin pie filling. I didn't eat the gluten part. It's kind of like, do I want to put up with migraines from the gluten or stomach issue? Or I mean, migraines from the dairy or stomach issues from the gluten. So I just picked the dairy this time and oh, I was regretting it. But oh, that pumpkin pie was so good. I had a migraine for two days, but oh, it was good. Finding a way, made the gluten-free biscuits. Her daughter did. She thinks she underbaked them a bit. Yes, that's the one thing with gluten-free baking. You have to make sure you bake it long enough. It does take much longer to bake gluten-free items. Uh, Heather says, we just bought us a new Corolla, great cars. Yes, we are looking for a Toyota Tundra or a Toyota Tacoma. But half the town drives Toyotas here, so <laughs> we're having a well, really hard time finding one. That's a testimony for Toyotas in a place that's, uh, well, you know, they say Santa left here to move to the North Pole because it was warm. <laughs> it was warmer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she said our last car got totaled by a blind by a blinded by the sun DUI driver. Oh man, so sorry, Adele. I just got a great deal on a Honda Pilot. Yeah, Hondas are good too, actually. From Texas, no rust. Yeah, that's we have bought cars out of state before. We bought when we lived in Kansas. We bought our station wagon in Florida, so and that ended up being good. So, um. Bam says, I live in Michigan. Maybe I should buy a truckload of books and take them over. You know what's funny is we do get people yeah. from Canada who know people in the U.S. And they will, uh, if they know they're going to see each other soon, then they'll order their something and have us mail it to their friends in the U.S. Yeah. <laughs> Although tell your friends you're doing it so they don't return it. <laughs> yeah. 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 One lady ordered a book and she didn't tell her family member she was ordering it the person returned it so well the person didn't remember i guess but still um frios hello again from japan wow where it's sunny and windy and she's solar drying her bedding good job good job irish eyes she missed my goat milk soaps and lotions will you ever sell them again so email me i have a whole bunch of soap go ahead and email me and i'll see if we can set something up um i made a whole bunch that I have. Um, so go ahead and set it. Go ahead and send me an email, editor at livingonadime.com, and I'll see if I can help you with some of that. Tiny face. I've made her obsessed with reading grocery ads. See, good for you. I was going to say on the well, that's the goat milk soaps and lotions. But I had I've had a number of people lately ask about the the soap store. I'm trying to order, but it says I can't. And I wonder I was if one of my if, videos is going viral. I was wondering if there's a link somewhere that says go buy them there because Tara hasn't been making the soap lately, sadly. Although it's funny when people say, are you ever going to do it again? That's always a question that Tara can't really answer because she changes her mind a lot on things. She'll just get this inspiration and suddenly poof, <laughs> something well, new. Well, I have a steel table over here I got for 25 bucks stainless steel table and I got all my soaping supplies right in front of me here and I'm like oh I miss making soap and I got all the ads for the Black Friday sales for fragrances I was having a very difficult time I do I do really miss making my soap I loved doing the soap but living on a dime just ended up making more money because what happened was I started doing the soap and I was going to be done with living on a dime. And so I started making the soap and was just going to do that. And then living on a dime took off with all of the prepping stuff from COVID. 
and uh, then it was, we were making way more money than I was doing the soap. So I was like, okay, I'll just do it. Alicia says she bought all three cookbooks. Thank you very much. One is a gift for her gluten-free, dairy-free bestie. Yay, how nice. We are in Wyoming, Olympia. Yep. Um, happy birthday, Olympia. Yes, oh, happy birthday. Oh, I didn't know it was your birthday today. Happy Yay. birthday. Diana, my very first video is snow ice cream. Yes. And that video, oh my goodness, we filmed it outside. It was so stinking cold. It took us like four hours to film that video. Ice cream one? It was awful. The snow was coming down and the trains were honking in the background. It, the dog was barking at the neighbors. It was <laughs> awful. Diana, what's the best way to freeze lasagna and defrost it? Just make it all up and throw it in the freezer. And I don't defrost it. I just keep the next one. I just throw it straight back in the oven. Yes, Laura's a Toyota girl. We are too. We just buy um, we just buy Toyotas. Uh, somebody was asking about the books. Yes, they are hardcover, guys. Hardcover. And these are brand new books, and you can see they lay flat even. Even at the very beginning of the book here, they lay flat so your pages aren't flopping. Lay flat through the whole book. Yep. Yeah, that was a that, that was, was a requirement for us. Well, we have a special binding on this. We pay extra so they will lay flat for you guys because I know how important that was. When we went from spiral to hardcover, that was one reason we did that was because we knew we wanted people... Um, to be able to lay flat. So finding a way says our husband's a mechanic and they are Chevy and Toyota people. I didn't know Chevys. Are Chevys good cars? We've never had a Chevy. Mm, I know some people like Chevy trucks, but I have to say, I've always heard about Toyotas and Hondas and the Honda we had maybe wasn't a very good uh, car to judge it on because it was uh, somebody's car that they had already completely used up and we were just using it as a get over. But Boy, the Toyotas, we got, well, I think the one we have now was the first one, right? It's It's been an amazing car. Mm -hmm. for, yeah. And then we, we've ended up buying two other mm -hmm. ones uh, when when our niece was living with us. Yeah. Um, and they just, they just go continuously. Tanya says her son has a Toyota Tacoma and he loves it. Yeah. Well, see, so here's the thing, though, that... Tundra is a bigger truck, but when I looked at the gas mileage, it said that the gas mileage was better on a Tundra than a Tacoma, which doesn't make sense at all when I Googled it, but. So Tracy, Amazing Grace, not the new Chevy cars, meaning the new ones aren't great um, or the new ones are better than the old ones. I wasn't sure what you were saying. Oh, Olympia mm -hmm. says it since my, since my birthday, I'll treat myself to your books. All right. Oh! Birthday. Well, happy birthday. <laughs> um, again, <laughs> Jan says in Montana, I've seen people make chicken wire rings a few feet in diameter. Yes, I had that and it blew over. Well, or I think the deer knocked it over and I didn't have it secured enough. So I'm going to secure it better this year. But I did have one of those around the deer. Actually, what I did and it worked really good was I only have a four foot fence and they were jumping it. So what I did was I took poles and added another four feet. And I took um, fishing line and went all the way around my garden, like eight times up every six inches. And they didn't get in this year until at the end of the year when I was cleaning it and I left the gate open overnight is what happened. So they don't like the fishing line. So that tip actually worked really well. Uh, Darla, I have the spiral bound red book, which of the two new set would you suggest? So if you have the spiral bound one, it would be volume one. So you pretty much already have volume one, unless it's a really old spiral one and then it might be slightly less. At one point the spiral, we upgraded to more recipes and from that point on, it would be the same as volume one. So if that's the case, you would want volume two. <laughs> um, yes, Elizabeth, I'll show you guys my gnome trees. Uh, oh, my trees. Diana, I was given a frozen cooked smoked turkey. What do you do with it? Eat it. Just warm it up in the oven, 350 degrees for about an hour and a half, and then eat it. It's delicious. It's really super tasty, but 
when I'm when you're used to a turkey just falling off the bones and this one doesn't and you have to actually cut it I was like oh wow so but so amazing grace ranch says sorry I meant they aren't I think the Chevys aren't as good as they used to be from what mm. she, she says from what my friends and family have experienced oh yeah. okay Sharon wants to know can I roll it around in the snow you mean my tree yes <laughs> that would that might not be a bad idea actually Oh, I think I'm just going to go look for a new tree tomorrow, a new used tree tomorrow, because I ain't paying $200 for a cheap, for a tree. Now, if I don't find one, I'll just reuse the one I have, and then at the end of the year, I'll just go buy one someplace on clearance, but. What video uh, did you talk about? Joanne says, I want to see that video. Oh, maybe the ice cream video. Snow ice cream. If you go click on the video tab and then click oldest, it's the first video. Oh, on the YouTube. Yeah, just yeah. go there and yeah, you can click by oldest. It's um, kind of funny to see. Actually, Rita Tara likes... looks like a little girl, practically. <laughs> Rita says she doesn't like smoked turkey. Ours is better. Wow. Wow, yay. Yeah, I felt the same. The smoked, tur the smoked turkey reminded me of one of those hams that you buy at Christmas. Bounty in the Badlands got pearls and a new chainsaw from Hubby one year. That's funny. Oh, wow. Retired Seigner says, I love your shows. I get so inspired and always learn so much. Thank you. Chelsea's mom, hubby was disappointed at the thought of no crispy skin. Oh, you can make it crispy if you want. Just leave the foil off and it'll be a crispy skin and use the roast sticky turkey or chicken um, in volume one. And then you'll have the crisp, you'll have this one, you'll have the crispy skin. Or just take the foil off <coughs> like two hours after it has or two hours before it's done, <coughs> and that'll get crispy too. Wait, if in the upside down recipe? Mm -hmm. Oh, I did not know yeah. that. She, I mean, it'll she, be the back side of the turkey that's that's the crispy part, but that's fine. But did you see what else she said in her comment? Once the bird was done, I put some skin in the air fryer to crisp it. Well, there you go. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> I thought that was kind of yeah, that's a good idea. I love the crispy skin myself too. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to have to drag out the turkey because I'm getting all, I'm hungry. I'm getting all, <laughs> my mouth all excited for turkey. The retired psych nurse says, I live in a small 900 square foot condo, so my tree is only about two feet tall. Hey, that's fine. How long are our cookbooks going to be 40% off? December 6th. December 6th. Thank you for purchasing them. Um, Pam, I live in Michigan. Maybe I should buy a truckload. Oh, yes. No, that's funny. Uh, finding a way says, got, loves my Toyota van. Good. Uh, Wichita got seven inches of snow. We used to live in Wichita. I saw that. That was pretty crazy. We almost never got that much snow there, did we? Maybe the year we were making all the Igloos. Oh, yeah. no, we did igloos like four years in a row, didn't we? Yeah. Vicky says, when I sell my things on eBay International, they cover all the customer fees. That's good. Uh, Hair Tide, I'm too lazy to go look in volume one and two cookbooks. Do you have any recipes for, to use pomegranates? I do not because that's super expensive fruit, so I don't have that one. Um, next one's Carolyn. I always bake my smoked turkey. Directions that come with the smoked turkey says an average of 14, 16 pound cover the bottom of the pan with water and bake for four to five hours, 275. Okay, do it that way then. That I would probably follow that direction. Yeah. So cover the bottom of the pan with a little bit of water. Four to five hours at 275. I just sent it to you. Okay. Kathy says she just bought our price book right here. She finds it very interesting. Yes, if you want to get the best deal on your groceries, this is what you need. It is 20% off right now. Oh, how are we doing? Do we need to have them ship the rest of them? Well, I was just thinking about today. Well, we're more than, we're about 60% through the batch that we just bought. Oh. I was thinking today I should have probably sent them another. I wasn't sure if they were back in the business. In the sh I don't know if they're back for vacation. In the print right shop yet. Are amazing printers. Or would it get here quicker if you just picked them up on your way? Well, I don't know, but you hmm. first said that, and then you said, no, I know. just have a mail I'm trying one. to decide. Well, it only took two days once they mailed it. Did it? Okay. Although, that doesn't account for if they closed the highway, but 
but then we won't be getting through either. <laughs> to close the highway. Huh. Yeah, we didn't tell everybody I'm heading down without you. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, Toyota's run forever. That's why we were thinking about, well, that's why we're trying to get another one. It's funny because certain things that have been frustrations for a lot of years, if we find a solution to that frustration, we don't like to change. And our Toyota car has been one of those things where um, we've had a lot of frustrations with a lot of cars over the years. And that one has lasted us a very, how long have we had it since? Man, 10 years now? Yeah, and it's had very It was little, 10 years old when we bought it. We've had it 10 years. It's had very little trouble and nothing really major. And <laughs> mm -hmm. and we had heard that Hondas were really good too, although the one we got was one that was already pretty beat up and it did okay, but it just wasn't, it was already pretty used up when we got it. <laughs> Donna says she received volume one a few days ago. She's been reading it every day. It's presented so well. I need to go back to my basic baking skills, and this were great for me. Love all the tips. Thank you. We have 1,200 recipes and tips in here. 1,200. Nice. Almost 600 pages. Christine, <laughs> hello. Her mom's birthday is today, and hers was on the 21st. Well, happy birthday. Hey there, hey, Christine. Hey, email me and tell me how you're doing. I'm curious to see how it's going. She was our first grocery audit, and I want to know how it's going for you guys. Um, it's too bad you can't stop by Casper and say hi to her while she's there, while you're on your way. Samantha, I just got a dozen A's at Bosch's grocery store for $1.49. Very good. Very good. Kathy, do you live near my... Aunt and Gillette. She, that's about an hour and a half away from us is where Gillette is. She has stage four lung cancer, not long to live. Oh, I'm so sorry. And I love her and she's last my dad's sister too for me to see her, but I call her. Oh, well, that's good that you're able to call her. Yes, an hour and a half is about Gillette. Wanda, video rolling the tree around in the snow might go viral. <laughs> I mean, we need to think of these things. <laughs> Yes. Oh, Christine says, I will. Um, next one's Raquel, would you consider doing a gardening series with harvesting tips and recipes from your home har harvest? Probably not because people don't like my gardening videos. So unfortunately, our channel is really messed up and we just have so many. I see one more. We have so many. We have so many. Um, different topics we talk about that the algorithm doesn't know what we're about. So that's why I'm focusing on the recipe channel now. But um, we have some gardening videos, mm -hmm. just that Tara does a great job with them. It's just that YouTube doesn't think of us as a gardening channel, so they don't promote it to people that really want to see gardening stuff. Yeah. Unfortunately, YouTube just doesn't know what we're about. So that's the problem with our channel. Get it together, YouTube. <laughs> Yeah. Actually, YouTube's been good to us compared to Facebook. Oh, Facebook. Facebook just randomly like cuts the show off for no particular reason. They won't they won't let us explain or they, they won't tell us what's wrong. They sent me a survey the other day and I let them have it. <laughs> Misty, I'm cooking turkey tetrazzini. Ooh, yum. Need to use her leftover turkey. Good job. She froze the rest of it to make dumplings later. Okay, I have to tell you, one of the well many things that I miss. Eating gluten-free is good old-fashioned baking mix, bisquick dumplings. Oh, those were so good. All oh, those were so good. Rosemary just finished the last of her turkey tonight. Carolyn just bought a 2016 Corolla. Very good. Yeah, ours is a Camry. Corolla is basically a baby yeah. Camry. She got a Chrysler Town & Country. Rear-ended last week was total loss. We'll never buy anything from Chrysler again. Her van was a lemon. Yeah, we got a lemon. What was the van that we had? Was that Ford? It was Which Ford. one, the red one or the brown one? Well, the red one. Well, the red one was thrashed by the head on the driver. I know, but driver. I didn't like that van either. I was so happy when you got... It was a Ford, it was a Ford also. Here's what happened. 
I literally had prayed that God would take this van yeah, away from going, us. Good going, honey. Because, oh, you're fine. <laughs> now that I'm out of the hospital. Oh, stop it. You weren't even in the hospital. I, I literally there. prayed like two or three days before that. Lord, I absolutely despise this vehicle. Could you please let us get in an accident and total it so we can just get rid of this van? And two or three days later, Mike gets in a hit and run by a guy. And the van was gone. I was so happy. It was and awful. I was so blessed that the airbag didn't go off because I had drywall in the back and I had the seat all the way up. So I was right up against the steering wheel. See? God even protected you. And the guy hit and run me. Uh, it wasn't exactly head on. It was sort of all sideways head on. But um, <laughs> but the, the drywall kind of went through the seat thing and had these grooves. <laughs> the guy rolled down the window and said, sorry, ain't got insurance and drove off. But I was able to identify him in a lineup, so that, yep. that was good. <laughs> Elaine says, how was the hayride? We did not end up going on the hayride. It was like 15 degrees at the at the Christmas festival downtown, and we went for about half of it, and Jack was like, Mom, I just want to go home. We're like, okay. It was pretty cold. It was really cold. It is a fun event, but um, it was really pretty cold, and there yeah. were – and usually we have more of the family here to, to go on it, too, so – yeah. Sue says, thank you for the super fire quick shipping on my volume two. You are welcome. 40% in off in the description below, guys. Um, Kathy says, I'm amazed you're talking snow in Alabama bundled up with a warm hoodie and gloves watching you all. <laughs> <laughs> and you, we don't even have anything on. Yeah, it's, I don't know. It's probably what, 65 degrees in here. Yeah, I don't know, 60, 65. Yeah, actually, Wanda, I was able to use the drywall. It just, the drywall moved forward so fast that it it had made grooves about four inches deep, but I just cut that end off because we didn't, we only needed it for shorter pieces anyway, so. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I'm glad the airbag didn't go off because I had probably been really hurt. Yeah. Um, Kimberly says that's the great thing about the cookbooks is you can almost read them like a regular book. Yes, it gave such confidence in the kitchen that I never had before because I was able to learn the basics. Yes, I've had several people say, Oh, get the joy of cooking. Please don't waste your money on the joy of cooking. It is such a complicated cookbook. Just get dining on a dime, guys. So much easier. I had the joy of cooking and I threw it away because it was awful. Um, yeah, it was just absolutely awful, but all right, guys, thank you so much. Please go check out our Black Friday sale up to 50% off right now. Go watch this video next and we will see you guys next time. Have a great night. Bye.